up guys, a long waiting video. Today I'm with a new Ford Focus STX 2022 version. And in this video, I will make the full review interior, exterior. I know you were waiting for such a long time this video. I also waiting, but today I finally get the car and I can present you. Before I give you the technical data and we start the review exterior, interior, I wanna tell you some information about the price. Also, if you are in Switzerland, around Switzerland, check out at Emil Frey, guys. Emil Frey in Bern. I will leave the link in the description so you can check them out if you want to see, test drive the car or buy the car. You know where to go. And the model that I have with me, this is the Ford Focus SDX. It's the most sportier version of the new Focus. And it comes with a 2.3 liter engine, EcoBoost. I will give you more information in a second. But let me give you the price and the option information. So the starting price here in Switzerland, at least 47,400 francs is the starting price. With all this optional uh, added 4,000 francs, the price will go to 51,400 francs. But here at Emil Frey, you have a 4,200 francs discount. So the final price will be 47 1200 francs a pretty good price in comparison with what mercedes bmw would the offer in the same class in, in terms of sportiness so the price is really really good and you will see why in the video you will see why also in the test drive video i have a separate video uh, with the same car test drive there i give you all the information on how it's on the road so check out on the channel that video out as an optional you have this package uh, driving assistant package uh, that mean the car come with all these new autopilot features emergency brake adaptive cruise control lane assist it's amazing i test it on the highway and it's really really good anyway it comes also with the winter package that mean the car come with heated windshield heated seats heated steering wheel you have all the package here bang and all of sense sound system you have have to pay also extra 500 francs also metallic color 1000 and adaptive port driving you have 1300 francs let me go a little bit more deep in details with technical data and let me tell you the weight of the car 1642 kilograms 8.2 liters is the estimated consumption 187 co2 grams it's in a class efficient class let me go deeper in details so the car come with a 2.3 liter eco boost petrol engine four cylinders in line the power of the car 280 horsepower 420 newton meters it's connected it's connected with a seven speed automatic transmission also this combination i drive the car before it's really good surprisingly for a sporty car it's really really good you can check out also the test drive video to see more information about that it's a front wheel drive so it's not all wheel drive and even though it's a front wheel drive when i test drive it i notice that it's doing a great job the grip on the ground it's super super good the trunk space 358 liters if you fold down the seats completely you will have 1320 liters another important thing is that the maximum speed of the car 250 kilometers 0 to 105.7 seconds also the car come with ventilated brake discs on the front and normal brake discs on the rear 19 inch rims on this model that we have right here also the car come with independent mcpherson suspension on the front and multi-link independent suspension on the rear on this stx version on the normal version it comes with semi-independent on the rear but on this model uh, it's special so it comes with multi-link so i think those are the most important information about the car if you still have questions ask me down below whatever you want to ask if you want to see the test drive check out the other video as well now let's start the review guys exterior interior and in the end we will make the conclusion this is the key very simple very light key we have the sd logo on the other side and then on this side we have the normal buttons what you can do with the key lock the car the car come with electronic folding mirror you can see right here but also you can lock and unlock the car by having your finger right here it's very simple and also if you want to unlock it just put your hand here and you can see that this system work really good so the quality is very very good uh, Ford really build uh, good cars with good quality. Now, you have another button here. If you press it two times, you will unlock the trunk. Doesn't come with automatic lift gate, but you can actually unlock it. So this is what you can do with the key. All right, now I just turn on the engine and also I turn on the lights so we can talk a little bit about the lights, about the exterior design, and then also about the noise uh, from the engine. First of all, I wanna tell you that I like very much, much more than before, 
this design this new design i don't have so much space here guys i hope you understand me but i will have a separate video where you can see a little bit better the exterior but i have to tell you i love the exterior design the shape the lines it's simple but in the same time look modern and nice and even the front end they somehow step up the game forward in terms of exterior design before was kind of too much simple i should say but now the design it's much more attractive i should say it's much more aggressive and you can see also the lines of the car look much much more beautiful this is the radio antenna it's nice very well integrated they're very small look at this spoiler one of my favorite elements on this car is the spoiler look at those lines look at those edges look at this the curves not only that it looks good but also it helps at high speed uh, the car also we have the brake light here beautiful spoiler tinted windows on the back and on the side right here then we have sd logo on the right side so you know this is the sd a proper sd focus now down here you have a reverse camera you have led lights on the number plate this is great what is not so great is the fact that the turning signals is normal bolt light this is something that i wish it was different but other than that fog lamps are led and the tail lights it's a led light uh, the size and the design of it it's nice it's integrated nice also if you go a little bit backward you can see that uh, the lights and the design look nice anyway going down here we have a light reflectors very nice integrated here then we have uh, four parking sensors on the rear bumper. Uh, I like very much this design here, how they designed the rear bumper with this plastic mat. And also down here, kind of a diffuser. Uh, we have huge exhaust pipes on the both side. You can see them here. And also one on the other side. So beautiful, beautiful. The exhaust pipes are real and they look really nice. Also, I like this element here to protect somehow uh, from stones some from throwing the stones so overall the back design the back bumper look quite uh, nice here on the driver's side you have also the tank uh, and we have the easy fuel tank this system from ford it's working really simple you don't have to open any cap it's much more easier uh, to fuel the the car than than the other cars now going on this side you will see in the moment when we go inside that the visibility from the interior in this area it's very good because they put the window only on the door so no window stay on the body of the car and that make it great for the visibility uh, in the interior other than that the side of the car look nice also uh, i like very much this down skirt here really aggressive really sporty uh, it really fit nice with the car and i think on other color will make the car even more aggressive. Around the windows, we have some rubber. Everywhere here is rubber. I think if they put some glossy plastic, the car will look even better. But we have glossy plastic between the windows. The mirror, also quite nice, uh, good size. We have blind spot technology in the corner here. I think you can see it. LED lights, turning signals on the mirror. And down here, you have a light that illuminates the floor in the nighttime. Uh, so that it's quite nice in the nighttime. What I want to show you, extra on the side here are also those rims the rims are another element that i like very much on the car it's, it's a gray matte color that looks beautiful red caliper on the rear normal uh, brake discs look super super cool also in the front the same story ventilated brake discs and also here we have uh, red brake calipers and four pistons on the brakes yeah quite nice it looks nice uh, but I think the brake caliper should look a little bit better, maybe it's writing here Ford Performance or something like that. But overall, uh, great brakes. Check out the test drive to see more about that. 19 inch uh, rims, also you can see it from the back, look really, really cool. Really cool. perfect for the car. I mean, the size is just fit really good. Now up here, we have also the camera and the sensor for light and raining, camera to read the traffic speed limit, lane assist, and it works in combination with that autopilot. It has a very good autopilot, guys. You have to see the test drive video. I tested there, really good on the highway, it's doing a great job. Now here, the hood, some lines, aggressive lines, also fit nice, perfect for a sporty car. The front end, I like the lights, 
really those new uh, lights look really good also led lights of course we have the turning signals also when you close the turning signals in the same place we will have the daylight we have these matrix kind of matrix led lights you can see little pixel led there they are really good the lights i tell you very very good the front grille also in kind of a gray matte i like the way the color the way they do it ford logo huge air intakes here we have some pedals there that are closed and open depend on the temperature depend what the engine need uh, to be cooled down then you have the st on the side here uh, you have some elements here sporty elements and if you look here you have some here's not but here you have some air intake i don't can see it on the camera but you have it there you cannot see it so well but anyway nice nice integration here again four parking sensors on the front bumper as well but the elements and the design the lights look really nice and also if you look here you can see the air will come here on the side anyway nice design also down here make the car look much more aggressive here is the radar for adaptive cruise control emergency brake and all that safety features also again air intakes pedals even down here close and open depend how you want and this is it this is the front i think it's a successful car in my opinion if you want to guys hear a little bit of sound i can do that for you so let me go inside the car so that was the sound i think i show you almost everything let me close the engine and also the lights and then let's go forward just like that we will go inside in a second uh, it's like that two times here the same as bmw you pull these two times the sound quality on the doors is not something extraordinary it's just it's just simple you know like middle uh, range quality i should say but the sound insulation inside the cabin i was surprised to see that it's incredible good here in the front you just come and lift it out you don't have to pull any uh, lever or something like that you have a manual lift gate in the front also you have some protection for the engine up there and here is the engine guys 2.3 liter petrol engine ford performance you can see it right in there it looks nice it looks different it looks powerful look at the air filter here wow look at the battery fuse box on the right side here you have the liquid cooling anyway look really really nice yeah cool manual lift gate in the trunk of course but relatively big entrance right here in the trunk up here you have some handles to close it if you want to manually you have also this protection for the trunk that we will take it out in a second and this is the trunk also some plastic at the entrance and it's a deep trunk you don't have a flat floor here you have like 20 centimeters i should say deepness here some storage space in the left side uh, some hooks here you have a normal light bulb light hooks there under the floor i know you're curious it's a place where you can put your repair kit triangle and some kind of uh, small stuff so no um, replace uh, tires here so anyway in europe you don't even know it you don't even need it with those insurance also if you want to open this up you do it like that and then forward it's very simple most of the people don't know how to do it anyway let me take this out and then i'll show you also the trunk without it and we will fold down the seats as well i just take out that protection you can check out the trunk one more time for me from my point of view it looks big it looks relatively big and more than enough to go in holidays to carry big items here four tires without any problem and wherever you want to stick in um, look really really good surprisingly here in the middle you have the possibility to fold down this middle part to carry long items like skis and in the same time have two passengers right there in the back if you want to fold down the seats you press this button on the side push it forward and then you are good to go also here the same story but i have to put this back in a nice manner i want to protect the car and just like that press this button and then push it forward and now you're all in and this is it with the seat folding down of course you have kind of a step there but overall it looks really good 
it looks spacious, it looks big, it looks more than enough to fit in here a lot of things. The only thing is that 10 centimeters here, I think it's around 10, yeah. But other than that, really, really spacious. I like it. I like how big it is. Uh, also, if I go on the side, I want to show you also from the side. Open the door, relatively big. Um, and go in inside here. Also the seat belt, you can put it like that. And then big entrance here. You can see one more time the trunk from this angle, the way it looks. So you can make any idea yourself. But for me, from my point of view, from the, for the size of the car, it's more than enough. I like the fact that the transmission tunnel down there, it's relatively small and even three people can stay there. So surprisingly for such a sporty car. Now let me put everything back and we go inside the car, guys. All right, now let's talk a little bit about the door here. As you see before, one window is fixed here and one window is here that you can fold it all the way down. In terms of design, door design, it's quite nice but simple. On the upper side here in the back, you have plastic. So keep in mind on the back door in this area, it's plastic. Even here it's plastic, but it's okay. Here you have the handle, you have a small speaker right here. You have also this uh, button for the windows. Here you have soft material and leather in this area. Handle, here I like the fact that it's stuff material inside here. The door bands, also you can put some things here. Very, very useful. And then you have the speaker right here. So overall it's a nice design, but not too much uh, high quality. Good entrance, I should say here. You can come inside the car without any problem. You can see one more time the seats in the interior. The seats, a great combination between leather and Alcantara. And I like very much, if you look down here, they are quite tiny. I don't know how they design it like this. It's something unique that you don't see in other cars. Um, I like them very, very much. I mean, I mean, I think they want to save some weight. They make it very light, the seats. Uh, if you look closer, you can see the stitches. You can see the good quality on the headrest. And also, if you touch it, it's like a memory pillow. You have to, to touch these guys when you go and try the car. Uh, it's like a memory pillow and it's very good quality. Also on the side here, the same story, leather. You have here uh, this Alcantara in the middle, look awesome. Ease of fix. You can install two child seats here in the back without any problem. Also, I like that in the middle. It's quite, quite straight. So you can have uh, three people here without any problem. Transmission tunnel, it's small. Uh, here in the middle, you have this armrest, two cup holders, leather here very very useful behind the front seats you have leather here as well it's kind of a, a plastic and then over the plastic is this leather you have some storage spaces and in the middle there you don't have any vents i wish it was a vent here and then down here you have two usb one two uh, and one c usb c and usb two great now let's go inside the car let's see the quality on the seats okay going inside very easy close the doors what I noticed while I drive the car I did the test drive check out that video is that the silent inside the car it's very good the sound insulation it's really really good they work on things that really matter in this car now the visibility outside it's perfect because they make this extended window here on the door so that's keep in mind guys this is really important for the rear passengers you have a lovely visibility from here the position here it's quite good it's super comfortable uh, my head space it's like four or five fingers i'm 173 centimeters so this is the space uh, i have a handle a hook here the quality on the roof is very good even though it's a black roof um, it's really really good quality now on the legs room this is the space four or five maybe more i can stretch a little bit the legs under the front seat so i sit really really good here uh, on the back seat also you can see in the front um, the seats are quite back this one you can put it even more in the back there i think it's too much in the back so it's relatively good space here so no worry about the space in the middle if i want to go in the middle i go super easy and i can stay with my legs together i feel like i'm in an suv here i'm really really surprised how much space i have in the middle here so it's crazy even here the seats uh even those i put it too much in the back because i want to film something in the front so yeah usually it's more space no problem on the head also four fingers here it's a little bit less space stretch my hand completely 
stretch my hand completely so even free people can sit here without any problem and i like those different special seats i like them really really they are special they are different uh, super super nice seats up here you have also two led lights that you press it and close it and open it up now we will go in the front guys we will talk about the new uh, multimedia we will talk about the features in the front right there uh, but overall if you look from this angle you can see that the design of the dashboard it's very nice it's new it's modern it's futuristic so ford finally step up the game and bring something really attractive anyway let's go in the front one big window that means great visibility uh, this time it's the same design on the door but we have soft material everywhere on the upper side, everywhere here it's soft, soft, soft. Even here it's soft material, here it's leather, a much better quality. Also we have this kind of carbon fiber uh, on the door. I don't know if you can see it, but it looks really nice. Handle, the buttons for the windows, for the mirrors. You can adjust the mirror electrically, you can lock and unlock the car. Have all these features right here. Handle, uh, plenty of space in the door bands. Again, this tough material. Here we have a speaker. Then we have the Ford Performance. I love this plate, it looks really, really fancy. Now the entrance in the car also quite big. You can see from this angle. Uh, one more time, the seats. Let me show you those incredible seats. I love those seats. One of my favorite uh, sporty seats. Super good comfort for sporty driving, but even for long trip driving, they are super good. You can see the Ford Performance. You can see the stitches. Leather Alcantara in the middle with those two lines. Beautiful, beautiful seats. Side support here. You can also adjust the front part. You can adjust it manually from here, the high, the high. We can see the height, the up and down from there. And here we have electric adjustable seat so you can put it back and forward from here without any problem. Now, aluminum pedals, great pedals. Check out the test drive to see more about them. Here we have the light settings. So you can set the lights from here, the brightness of the screen, the fog lamp. Up here you have a vent, good quality vent. As you touch it, soft material here on the dashboard. Everywhere it's soft material on the dash. That's something to keep in mind, guys. Now, let me go inside the car. Okay, go inside the car. Visibility around the windows, it's just very good. Almost perfect. You don't have to say anything about that. Even though the visibility in the mirror is perfect, you can see big mirror, big window in the back there. Lovely visibility around the car. Even though the car have a reverse camera, you have a great visibility. Now, here in the middle you have an armrest that you can open it up just like that and if i'm not wrong yes you open it up you have a space here you take this out you have another space a lot of space to put your things uh, right there really really good and useful space then another space here for your phone or key or wherever you want to live here other than that here is made by plastic everything only this area you have this leather with red stitches you can see it uh, but other than that it's plastic auto hold electronic handbrake you have this wheel to change uh, the position of the gear so parking reverse neutral drive manual you can drive in manual if you put it in manual you change the gears from here you can have some fun in manual mode with the car then in the front you have a wireless charging for your phone there you have an usb 2 usb c a 12 volt port a lot of uh, useful things here in this area cup holders and also you have a nice ambient light if i start the car let me show you start the car uh, right now a anyway when you start the car you can see also the head-up display come out we will talk about that you can see the ford st ford performance there and this is the head-up display it's on this plastic plate here i this is one of the things that i don't like i should say on the car i wish it was directly on the windshield but other than that everything is really good even though on this plate if you look closely there i don't know if you can zoom in you can see that the resolution on the head of display it's quite nice on the things that it shows you on the head of display and it shows you like uh, the speed like the cruise control you can set up there you can see the traffic speed limits and stuff like that signs a nice ambient light here in the uh, cup holders then going up you have the start engine button you have the parking button here is kind of assisted parking yeah if you want to park then start stop engine button maximum defrosting and you can turn on and off the traction control now in this area it's plastic again a lot of space here in the 
glow box i like the glow box quite quite good spacious here it's soft from here up start soft material uh, you have again this kind of carbon fiber effect uh, plasticky on this area look nice the vents there are soft material everywhere you have a speaker uh, right there you can see the bang and all of a sudden i think if i'm not wrong is the sound system yes uh, also head-up display another speaker a small speaker there and overall um, it looks nice overall look really nice the dashboard and everything here uh, then you have two vents here also very good quality when you touch them it feels nice it's plastic but it feels good quality now the button for the turning signals and then we have this big new multimedia system really big 12 inch display huge huge screen you have lovely visibility from the driver point of view you see everything and you can reach out everything very easy i will talk about that in the end of this video wait for it now here we have this beautiful st steering wheel you have the st logo here leather you can see the stitches you can see the grip uh, right here on the side it's really really good then behind you have the stock for lane assist you activate it from here deactivate it like that here you have the buttons for the cruise control you can set it up from here press a button is just set it up and you can see on this new uh, digital screen a lot of information while you're driving it's super super good and also I like the fact that they are physical and you are setting super fast you set up you just do it like that and you set the speed it's incredible good quality uh, and simple to use and practical here on the right side you can change different uh, settings on the digital cockpit and also you have the voice command the telephone and different driving modes here you have the s and mode if you go to s you press s you go in sport mode and right now you can see even the cockpit is changing to sport mode in red and you have a nicer you can see there a nicer a graphic and here if you go to mode you will appear on the screen here different driving modes and you can change it from here like slippery mode and all, every time you change it also the cockpit is changing you change the normal mode and then you have sport mode and race track mode this is the sport mode and race track mode in race track mode the car is crazy aggressive you can see the nice graphic here uh, crazy crazy aggressive I like it anyway let me go to normal mode um, good from here you change different uh, settings on the cockpit let me show you if you go here you have a lot of settings like screens like audio navigation phone um, settings of the car head-up display display settings if you go to settings oil life tire pressure a local hazard and stuff like that and then you have also if you want to go to navigation for example uh, you can see different things anyway I have a separate video with that if you want to see it and other than that you can see in the middle there what was the consumption in the last kilometers you can see um, the, the temperature performance gauge you can see also the tire pressure and fuel consumption and trip one here anyway really interesting good uh, up here the mirror you already see it a simple mirror gorgeous visibility in the back there I like that uh, also up here two lights normal uh, bulb light no LED but it's a nice mirror big mirror handle uh, good quality up here uh, also in the middle here you have an SOS but I don't know if you can see it you have an SOS button microphones and the light it's LED of course and that's it that's all what you have up here let's go forward let's talk a little bit about this multimedia system a little bit faster because i already reviewed it. i have already a video about it down here or everywhere down here you have all the settings uh, for the climatic system you have heated seats as you can see right here heated seats for you and a passenger you have the possibility to change the temperature here you have heated steering wheel you have the possibility to change the van speed from here so then you can put it on auto if you want to put it on auto you can put it on auto very simple then you can choose the the place where you should go if you press this button you extend the climatic system on the screen and you can choose where you like the air to go so just like that super simple uh, and then also you can choose from here dual maximum and recycling from the interior so yeah it's relatively simple to choose those things the front defroster by the way guys the car come with this button here if you press it 
you have the front defrosted all over the screen in the front it's heated so in this in the winter you press this button and then you will defrost it in one two minutes uh, will be defrosted that's great feature AC here I think you already know it um, then different driving modes you see it before this is the home button you go to home button you have here uh, the navigation on the uh, front screen this is like home screen then you have here the radio the telephone and here you have some extra settings if you go to navigation you will see that it's much more responsive it's it's really much better than what ford had before it's incredible responsive it's incredible it's really easy to to use and also very very visible and look at this you press go it's charging fast it has a fast processor fast chip behind this uh, multimedia system and it's really really good i like it now going back to home here you have the mobile app you can connect android apple phone with your car i have a separate video if you want to see how you can do that check out my video it's already on the channel then go to home you have the features on the features you have all the settings manual uh, you have the driver assistance systems where you can activate and deactivate the cruise control the speed limit lane keeping assist pre-collision assist traffic light um, blind spot rear view camera cross traffic alert driver alert the car come with incredible much um, driving assistant features in autopilot and here's the driving mode guys going home you have another settings on the settings up there as i said bang olufsen sound system it's a great sound system here it's all the settings of the sound system you have the radio the phone the navigation vehicle settings here um, you have all that key settings gym windows wipers lights all the settings of the car you have it here depend on what car you have and what car have uh, what settings have the car the language temperature measure unit tire pressure everything is here display settings and on the second page you have the vehicle hotspot by the way connectivity to internet mobile app updates valid mode and wherever check out the full review with this multimedia system if you want to find out more about this so anyway let's stop the engine when you stop it you have a nice graphic right there with st that was the review guys uh with this new ford focus stx 2022 or 2023 i love the car i have to say my rating for this car from 1 to 10 will be 9.9 .9. great price for what this car offer i like very very much the car i tell you and also guys uh, if you want to see the test drive with the same car i have a separate video so check it out it's probably it's already on the channel if it's not click the subscribe button to see the notification when that video will come out also if you want to buy the car if you want to see the car check out emil frey in bern i will leave the link in the description so if you want to buy it check them out guys good price good discount as you see right here and they are super super uh, nice anyway that was the video guys thank you very much for watching thank you very much for watching don't forget to like share subscribe i would really appreciate that and yeah stay safe and i see you soon in the next one bye guys